Hey everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, today I'm switching things up on you a little bit and instead of doing a review on a craft product or a craft project, I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing and a review on something else that I know all of us are using in our craft rooms. And it is probably something that fuels us when we're doing all of these craft projects. And what I'm speaking of is coffee. And the number two thing that I get most excited about after our crafting machines is Keurig machines. I absolutely love them and it's the one thing I use the most right after my Cricut machine um, is my Keurig machine. And as soon as I do a craft project, I probably run upstairs and brew a cup of coffee using my Keurig machine. Now recently, Keurig just announced a new machine called the Keurig 2.0. I was really excited because I love the Keurig family machines. I've had the original Keurig machine, I've had the Keurig View machine, and now I was excited to rush out and buy the Keurig 2.0. Now in this video, I wanna show you with the unboxing of this machine. I wanna show you what comes with it. And of course, I wanna show you all the different versions you can get. Now, this machine, I know what you are already saying, is already getting a ton of bad press. And the reason why is a lot of people are already saying you cannot use all of your old K-cups in this machine. This machine is only approved to use the new official Keurig approved K-cups. And that is true. However, I have found a workaround where you can use all K cups in this machine. And I want to show you that in this video. Because of this workaround, I cannot wait to buy this machine. Now I can use any of my existing K cups that you can buy in any stores or any of the K cups that I still have up in my cupboard. So I want to show you all of that and let's get started right now. Now the one that I bought, I got exclusively at Costco. It is, the version is called the Keurig 2.0 and it is the model K560. Now you can also get three other brands, which is the, uh, you, they have the base model, which is the Keurig K350. They have the Keurig K450 and the Keurig K550. The Keurig K560 is exclusive to Costco. Now the big difference between all of the brands really is essentially what comes in the box, number one, and the features with it. Um, all of them come, of course, with a machine. All of them come with the new carafe and they all come with at least some of a sampling of the coffee and sampling of the new crafts. Now, the big difference is whether you get a color display or a black and white display, and whether you get some of the um, customizables. Um, the big, big difference is your K350 has only 60 ounces of water. Your K450 has 70 ounces of water. Your K550 has 80 ounces of water. So I highly recommend going to Keurig's website and comparing the difference in all the different machines to see which one best fits your needs. Of course, I always go to Costco because Costco guarantees all of their machines. Um, I will put a link to an Amazon down below so you can take a look at this machine and if you wanna buy it on Amazon because they have a great return policy, I'll give you that link. Um, let's go ahead and open this up so you guys can see what's in here. Now this one, the nice thing, also comes with some added bonuses. So let's take a look what comes in this one. Now one of the new features in this is the carafe, which is really exciting because uh, the carafe obviously um, is for when you're having a gathering or a family gathering. Friends, now you can actually brew more than one cup of coffee. So here you have a nice carafe for when you have multiple people. So that is probably one of the nicest things that came part of the 2.0. So also in the box you have your variety pack and then this is for the carafe. So as you can see they're much bigger and this will be for the craft here. So you got four of those in here. And then because I got this at Costco, I get 48 K-cups. 
And then of course, the machine itself is in there, right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the machine, get it all set up, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get everything set up for you so you can see what it looks like outside of the box. So we have the machine out of the box that was inside of the box, and here it is. Uh, this machine is absolutely gorgeous. This is the machine, like I said, from Costco. The link below the video is the machine from Amazon. So the machines are exactly the same. The only difference from the Costco and the Amazon is the accessories that you get with it. One of those accessories is the filter. Now here is the filter. If you did get this, what you're going to want to do as soon as you open this box is drop this in some water. It does need to soak in the water for about five minutes. Once you've soaked it for about five minutes, you do need to rinse it off for about 60 seconds under cold water. You're going to go ahead and open this. You're going to place it right there. This goes on here and it snaps right in. Now one of the cool things is, is on here, there is a date. So you have an install date and then you have a replacement date and they recommend replacing it every 60 days. So I have it set to September and we're gonna replace this in November. Now on the side of the Curg 2.0, you're going to see down below here, there's a place to pop that filter in. Now the filter is optional, you don't need to have it. I'm just a big proponent of having um, filter in my water. So it is something I've always had in my Kurg machine. So plus it came with my machine. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Now one of the updated features on the Kurg machines, now I had it on my Kurg view, is this feature, which I absolutely love. The reason I love it is when you're filling up the water, you no longer have to carry it over to the faucet. You can actually leave it right here and fill it up. Now in the uh, version that I got, you can actually put a lot of water. This one has 80 ounces, which is going to be great because one of the new features of this is the fact that you can do the craft. So you're going to be using some more water. So the fact that we have 80 ounces of water is a great feature. So we have the water in there. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. And the other things that came in this box, you got uh, the first thing that came in the box that I think is important to know is they do in the Keurig 2.0 let you know that this is features the Keurig brewed coffee. So it's very important to know that you have to have the Keurig brewed coffee for this machine. There was also stickers on the top of the machine. There was stickers on the front of the machine and there was a box saying that you're going to need Keurig brewed coffee for this machine. And I will go into that a little bit more during the preheating stage because it takes about three minutes to preheat about what that means and how we get around that. The other things that came in the box was a beautiful booklet that um, kind of goes over not only your little starter guide that basically says what can it do, what is the touch of the button, what is this whole, you know, Keurig brood, but you also, once you register a machine, get a free box of coffee, so make sure you do that. It also says welcome to the family and kind of gives you a starter guide of all the stuff you get, and then it gives you a starter's guide of what you need to do. But to be quite honest, this machine is very user friendly, not a lot to do. Let's go ahead and plug it in so I can show you how user friendly it is. All right, so we've plugged it in. As you can see on the display, a little tiny power button came on. One of the features of the top model is a color display. The, all of them feature a color display except for the 3500, which is a black and white display. Before we begin, lift handle and remove shipping disc. So if you open it, you're going to see an orange shipping disc. Make sure you take that out. We're just going to toss that off to the side. We're going to go ahead and shut that. We're going to hit continue on that touch screen. And that's where you're going to hear that preheating stage. You're going to see what I... Um, Looks like a little Trivial Pursuit uh, little piece there with all the pies. Go ahead and do the preheating stage. Now, as you can hear, 
It's a very quiet machine. Um, my very first Keurig machine, I used to always tell people when it was preheating, you'd hear that big thumping sound, the dunk dunk. This is very quiet, which I really, really like. Now, while it's preheating, I want to explain to you what the Keurig 2.0 registration means. Um, so, what they're talking about is here is your normal Keurig K cup. Now, it says it's a Keurig brood. However, it doesn't have what they're looking for, which they say is the registration mark. And what is that? Well, here's one of the newer ones that came with this machine. It's Keurig brood, but it has this white ring around it. And that's what it's looking for. When we put this in the machine, it's scanning for this white ring. So if you put this one in the machine, it's gonna say, nope, it's a no-go, where it will like this one. Now, I'm gonna show you in this video a workaround to where it will read this one too, so where I can enjoy this, because I still have some of these older K-cups um, that I want to work in my Keurig 2.0. And to be quite honest, this is something that a lot of people are upset about on this machine, so they wanna be able to use any K-cup that they have, and rightfully so. I mean, I understand why Keurig did this, because they want to be able to capitalize on their coffee. However, I wanna be able to, if I want to go to Costco and buy any coffee I want to use in it. So I'm gonna show you that, but that is what they're talking about. While that's still preheating, some of the other things I wanna show you. These are the carafe cups. As you can see, they are quite a bit bigger. There you go. And obviously they're bigger because they are going to be filling up the entire carafe here. They also remind me a lot of the View coffee, if you remember having that, um, quite a bit like those. These are recyclable where these are not, so you're able to undo these, rip this off the top, and then recycle this portion of it. Um, so right now at Keurig.com, they have about eight different flavors of these. I'm sure that they'll be coming out with more, um, but this was one of the main reasons I did buy the Keurig 2.0 is I did love the fact that I was able to brew an entire um, carafe of coffee uh, on the morning. So uh, if I did have a, you know, a morning where I wanted it or in the evening, I would be able to have coffee with friends. All right. So we are able now to run our first cycle. Um, it always wants you to do um, a cleansing cycle in the very beginning. So we're going to lift to begin, as you can see there. And we're going to, it's telling us just a moment. All right. Press and hold. Brewer, brewer will dispense up to six ounces of hot water. So press and hold brew button. All right, so that is the initial um, phase that we needed to do to do what they called the setup and cleaning phase. Um, so we are done with the cleansing phase. So now we need to go ahead and we are good to brew our first cup. Um, let's go ahead and show you what I was talking about on these features. So if I was to put this in right now, see what I'm saying? Oops, this pack wasn't designed for this brewer. Please try one of the hundreds of other packs. So it's basically saying that it does not read it as a Keurig 2.0. Now, if I was to put this one in, it's ready to brew it because it's reading that circle around that K cup. Now let's go ahead and look at our options here. We have options here of different sizes. So we can go all the way down to four ounces, six, eight, and 10. We have strong or not strong. You have hot cocoa or not hot cocoa. So let's go ahead and just do six ounces here. And then all we do, just like any other Keurig machine, is press go. Relatively quiet machine. Nice stream, and the one thing that I will say that um, I did not like about uh, the view that um, some people also posted was the fact that the view had two streams coming out of it, which I was not a big fan of. And I wanna see how this does 
when it is completely finished here. And there's actually not too much dripping there at the end. So pretty impressed there too. So I wanted to walk you through all of the options really quickly on the uh, Curd 2.0. So this is your main menu. On here you have your clock, uh, you have your power button. This is where you get your hot water. And then this is your menu. So if we hit menu, you're taken to your settings menu. Now on your settings menu, you have three screens. You have where you can change your language, which is English, Spanish, or French. We speak English, so I think we'll keep it there. Um, you have your clock. Now, under your clock, you have a couple options. And this is kind of where, in my opinion, um, this sounds silly, but uh, the Curve 2.0 was one of the cool features to me was the fact that I could customize it. Um, under the time, this is where you would set your time. So, uh, you know, just set your time. You have the display of your time. So you can set it to if you like your digital or if you like analog, 12 hour or 24 hour. And then you have wallpaper. And this is really cool. And I will also show you um, on the curd.com website where you can actually customize your whole machine. You can set your wallpaper. So the wallpaper is actually the screen wallpaper. So for example, here's this, if I hit save, and now if I go back, it will actually set this wallpaper here. So there you go, behind there, now it's set this wallpaper as my background. Now you can actually buy an entire vinyl piece to cover this, and down below here in the same exact pattern. And you can buy it in all of these different colors. So you can buy all of that wallpaper in um, these different colors. So you have um, all of these different colors in the wallpapers and all of these different textures. And in this video, I will show you where to go get those uh, for a different, of course, cost at curve.com. So you can customize this machine here and you can also customize uh, the vinyl on the machine as well. So if you want to, let's say this lime color, just to show you, there you go. And once again, you can have the vinyl as well. All right, you also have auto on and off. So this is a great feature. If you wake up every single time in the morning, you can actually set it to where it will automatically start auto on, start preheating to where if I wake up every morning at 8 a.m. at 7.50, this machine kicks on and it starts preheating. So at 8 a.m. it is ready to go so I can start making my morning coffee. There's also auto off and there is energy safer, safer and this will all be enabled if I wanted to. We have lighting. Now this one here is only available on the top of the line. So you're only looking on this on the uh, 500 series. So this here is the reservoir, uh, reservoir light. So that's over here and it's hard to see I'm sure. Um, you can kind of see it here but uh, this here is the lighting. So you can actually go, let me see if I can turn off the light. You might, there we go. Um, you can go from white to green to blue to red. Now this is only available on the 500 series. Uh, it does not come on any of the other series. So if I had the green, look how cool that would be. If I had the green wallpaper with the green vinyl, with the green lighting, that would be so cool. So um, that is on the lighting feature. So that's there. You also have a nightlight timer. So I can actually set a nightlight on and set a nightlight off to where this reservoir light will actually pop on and off to where if at nighttime um, it would automatically come on and off. Kind of a cool little feature that's only available once again on this model. You have a water filter reminder. So once again, if you have that water filter in here and you want it to remind you, which I'm gonna go ahead and turn on, save, it would go on. Now there is this high altitude. Now if you're in a high altitude, and I believe it is if you are over um, a certain uh, feet, and I wanna say if it's over five, oh gosh, 5,000 feet, I believe, 
um, you want to turn this on. And what it's going to do is it's going to adjust it on your temperature of your water. We're not, um, so I'm not going to turn that on. Um, but if you are, you want to enable that and it is going to adjust your uh, heating in your water of your temperature of your coffee. And the last setting on here is to restore factory settings. So if you went in here, played with this, and you're either A, going to sell it, you're going to return it to Keurig, or if you are going to, um, you went in here and you just started messing around with it and you're not happy with the settings, whether it be um, you changed, um, you know, the heat settings or whatever, you can always restore to factory settings. So um, those are some of the settings. Uh, my favorite settings, just to let you know, is like I said, probably under the uh, clock settings and that's where all that display and wallpaper is and that's where that customization comes in. So that is all under that little eye on that home screen. So that is just a quick overview of the displays. Now I want to quickly go in to show you how you can trick the new Curve 2.0 on how to read this to use in the machine. So let me show you how you can do that. So now comes the part of my video that Kurg probably doesn't want you to see. Huh. This is the part that a lot of people stopped buying the Kurg 2.0. And the reason why is this machine is only brewing the Kurg approved K cups. So if you have a K cup that was bought before a certain time, or is a third party K cup, your machine is not going to brew it. So what I mean by that, and I've already showed you that, is if you put a K cup in that does not have that white rim with that a writing on it, you put it in there, it's going to say, oops. It's going to say this is a non-approved K cup and it is no good. Um, which a lot of people are upset about because they want to use their own K cups. And to be honest, I almost did not buy the Keurig 2.0 machine because of this. However, I am a Keurig enthusiast and I wanted to give it a try. So I started thinking about it and also did some research. And upon doing that, I found that really the machine is just looking for this ring around here. That's all it is doing is looking for this Keurig brewed thing around each of the K cups. So I started thinking about it and upon research, I found that all we need is really the top part. So I went ahead and took one of the ones that I brewed and I took a razor blade and cut it off, as you can see. Now, if you're going to do this, be extremely careful. You don't want to cut yourself. I don't want you to cut your finger off and say, I watched a Ken's creation video and I ended up in the hospital. That's never good. You want to cut away from yourself and make sure that um, an adult does it, please. Um, but you want to cut it very close away from the K-cup. And all you need to do is, as you can see, I have a non-approved K-cup. There is no language around that. You just want to place it on your K-cup and you're just going to take a rubber band. I just have a standard rubber band here and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my K-cup just like so. So this is the same K-cup I was using, that chai latte that was, as you saw, not approved. So I'm just doing that and just like so. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my machine here and then I'm just going to close it. And as you can see, it read it. It read that white circle around it and now I am ready to brew. Just like that, I am now able to use any K-cup in the Keurig 2.0 that I was not able to use prior to this. It's as simple as that. So if the only reason you were not able to buy this machine was because the fact that you weren't able to use your own K-cups or the store-bought K-cups or whatever K-cups you wanted to, now you can. So I'm just going to keep one of these cut off by itself right next to my K Keurig machine. And when I need to use it with that rubber band, just put it on there, ready to go. I'm able to use any K cup. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not, but it is a workaround. And now I can enjoy any K cups that I want in my new Keurig 2.0 machine. So it's just a workaround, but it's something that I absolutely love. So basically you guys, 
I really do like this machine. I love the look of the machine. I love how quiet it is. I love the fact that we have a crop now that you can enjoy coffee with your friends. You can enjoy multiple cups in the morning without having to go back um, and do cup after cup. Um, it's got 80 ounces of water in this one. I can customize this machine. Um, it's just, I think they've done a great job. And now with that workaround that I can use any K cup in the machine um, by tricking it with the way that I've done it, um, it really does make the machine shine. So in my opinion, I think it is a great asset. It was only $149 over at Costco. I had the link below for the Amazon. So if you do not have a Costco membership, you can definitely get it over on Amazon. So if you're a uh, Keurig enthusiast, I would definitely highly recommend it. It is, in my opinion, one of the best Keurig machines um, with that workaround. So um, if that was the only reason you weren't buying it was the fact that you could not use your own K-Cups, um, now with that little trick, you can. So maybe you don't say you found that out for me, even though they'll find out anyways because you're watching the video. Um, so anyways, make sure you guys are checking out all my YouTube videos. Subscribe to this channel if you liked it. Leave me some comments. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, hope you really enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys go out there, buy some uh, Kirk machines, go out there and enjoy an amazing cup of coffee. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.